Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Reckon123 Gaming and welcome to my channel. Today video I'm going to be showing you guys is some things about some secrets and some of the Easter eggs over here that you guys didn't know about. Some of you probably did, some of you probably didn't or not, but there are some things in here that I didn't even realize to be honest and I hopefully you guys will understand. I will be showing some more secrets soon, but this time, but or not say this time, I should say this video is going to be probably a little bit short or not, but it might be a little bit long, but we shall see if I know. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. Okay, so the first video I'm going to be showing you guys, or the first secret I'm going to be showing you guys, or should I say Easter egg, is going to be something called the Jeepers Creepers. I'm sure you guys have heard and seen the movie Jeepers Creepers, right? Well, if you guys spawn over here where I am, right, <clears throat> in San Mato Alpha, in San Mato, where you guys fight El Pozzolero, if you guys spawn over here, right, and, uh, if you guys move to this location where this box is, there is going to be something of an easter egg called Jeepers Creepers. Now, if you guys do spawn in here, um, you guys can walk, or you can take a bike, or you can fly there. No matter what, you guys can make your decision. I rather prefer flying there just in case, uh, like if anybody goes, um, you know, gets shot or suspected or anything like that for that matter. So, hope you guys do enjoy. So, here we go. <coughs> Alright. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet jumps, alright? So, what I'm gonna be doing now, guys, is I'm gonna be flying over here at this little camp, or not the little camp, the little village area where. Should I say, I mean, not really village, it's more like a farm place area. Now, if you plant or camp your helicopter at a safe place, so that way you don't get destroyed, just in case if you guys need it. Now, if I'm correct, guys, right? This easter egg is going to be uh, somewhere in Bolivia area. I think it's somewhere like in a different area like all around but I'm not 100% sure. But I know for sure around this farming area this is where the easter egg of Jeepers Creepers where you see scarecrows. Now if you guys look over here you can see one. And I can see two around here. Maybe three. Maybe four. I don't know. But if you guys come around here yes you, won't, you guys won't be able to see it correctly. But yes there is the scarecrow for Jeepers Creepers. And if I'm correct, I just learned about this um, like a couple days ago, or should I say today, I should say. And uh, there was something that I found out that if you guys look really closely, that you there might be something missing. There might be something missing that I'm having trouble with, that somebody said something like, you can, there is something that you can see like some breathing and whatnot. And as you guys can see, it does look like he's breathing of the scarecrow, but I doubt that for sure. But it's really not, to be honest, because it's actually the wind. As a, if you guys look closely, hold on, let me get my binoculars. If you guys look closely, it's not breathing. He's not breathing, it's the wind, as you guys can see. And this is the Easter egg, guys, for Jeepers Creepers. I personally haven't seen the movie yet, but I do want to check that movie out because I heard it's pretty good and pretty scary. And look, they see there's another scarecrow right here for Jeepers Creepers. And as you guys can see, you can see also that the weapon that the death uses or some or something like that that kills people or whatnot as you guys and it's hanging up right there in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yep, see there it is. There's another scarecrow right here as you guys can see it. Now, if I'm correct, there is another there is gonna be more scarecrows around. I'm not hundred percent sure around somewhere in Bolivia, but I'm not hundred percent. I'm still gonna be learning about this, but this is an Easter egg, but I think I'm not hundred percent sure, but I really think that they're gonna be adding this probably in the next DLC or so. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm gonna look on it to see what I'm gonna see or to see what I'm gonna check out to see what they're gonna be adding in this game. <clears throat> yep, this is Scarecrow right here, guys, as you guys can see. Yep, this, uh, like I said, I think there might be Scarecrows all over Bolivia and for Santa Blanca, as you guys can tell, for Ghost Recon Wellness. And there is the Easter egg. But like I said, I haven't seen the movie, but hopefully it'll be amazing. I'm going to be able to try to see the movie as much as I can for goes right out wildlands um if you guys want to look more into it sometime i suggest you probably look it up probably um around the internet area or probably youtube or anything like that to see what's going to happen if they are going to be adding this or not i don't know like i said i'm not 100 percent sure if they really are but if they do that'll be really cool 
It would be cool and really amazing if they actually added the Jeepers Creepers DLC or not. But like I said, this is just the Easter egg, guys. But, um, but like I said before, not 100% sure if they are going to be adding this or not in uh, in this game for the next DLC. So, yes. Alright, now this next hidden thing is a thing on Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm sure some of you guys actually played the old Assassin's Creed games and especially the new Assassin's Creed games. Um, I don't have any video clips of it or anything like that, but if you guys are a huge fan of Assassin's Creed, you guys might need to check this out because this is actually pretty cool how they actually have this in the game on Ghost Recon Wildlands. So bear with me guys and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna fly over here. Alright, now before I'm going to show you guys something, if you go to this section right here guys in Bar Vecos, and if you go to Bar Castles Alpha where this, um, what's it called, this, um, you know, the safe zone is there, you spawn in there, you choose a helicopter, right, and you fly over here where this church is. Of course, I don't know, of course, it was a, actually a main mission as well. If you guys fly over here, and uh, you guys can do whatever you can, shoot people or anything like that, or you, if you want, you can definitely go on top of the church. That's up to you guys. It's uh, definitely up to you guys. Me, I'm going to show you guys something really amazing. Alright, now I'm going to take out my drone out, and I'm going to show you guys what is going on. Alright. Now, if you guys can see there, there is a bird of a hawk of Assassin's Creed. And of course, there's actually four of those things sniper that you guys can go on. And uh, sorry about that with the sniper thing. I was going to kill people, but I was like, nah, I'd rather show you guys this. And uh, yeah, this is the church right here for Assassin's Creed for the, uh, for the bird. And also, if you guys look really closely... To be honest, I even looked it up. My even I even talked to my brother about the situation, and it looks pretty small for a hay barrel to jump through. It's definitely jump through and whatnot to see what we can do. And uh, one, Got it. but Perfect. I don't think it's not gonna work. But hopefully, I didn't mean to push that. But I don't know if it is gonna work or not. But I doubt it's gonna work. But I don't know if it's going to work or not. But we shall see if I don't know. So let's climb up to the top of this church to see what's gonna happen. Let's see if it does work to jump like that, like if Assassin's Creed. If it does, that'd be great. If it doesn't, that's Enemy fine. But I doubt it's gonna work, guys. So bear with me on this, and I'm gonna show you guys what this is. All right, let's try to be very stealthy about this because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna kill us. Actually, you know what? This is not a church. This is Nidia's Flores place. I meant to say. I'm so deeply sorry. This is Nidia's Flor uh, Nidia Flores place. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I did. I didn't mean to say church. I meant to say Nidia Flores's place. My apologies. My apologies. Yeah, like I said, I was gonna kill people right here, but I don't Yo, think it's wasn't new. I don't think it wasn't even going to be a great idea to kill people, honestly, because, yeah, it's going to take way too damn long, and I didn't want to do that, you know, <laughs> if you guys understand. <laughs> All right, we're going to close it on top, of the, on top of this tower over here, but I'm going to show you guys something really cool. Well, not really cool, but I want to see if it does work or not to see if we can do jump. All right, there it is. There's the four things that you guys can see, and if you guys come off, uh, come up here, right, there's no hawk. So there's no way you guys can jump, which is sad. So hope you guys do understand. You can't jump through that, and you can't jump through that barrel down there as well, which is sad, usually. So the only time you can see the hawk is when you're away from it. All right, guys. This next hidden thing, or should I say, secret thing, is in Ghost Recon Wildlands. If you guys go into the map, and also if you guys spawn into Inca Camina. La Cabra, I should say. If you guys spawn to this section right here, um, I just noticed this just now, guys. If you spawn over here and if you locate this area, it uh, if I'm pronouncing this right, this is the new world or, so or something like that. 
and uh, this is actually going to be really amazing. Um, I just noticed this. If I go to Kane's file, Kane's file. Sorry about that. There is a few legendaries in here that you guys notice. But if you guys come here, there is something over here that you that. Oh wait, not this one. Oh wait, no. Apologies. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, this is this is the spot right here, guys. And um, I'll take your time. It says something like you can spend enough time in Camino Inca, Inca Trite. Locals would tell you about a legendary village built in the mountains by people left homeless or displayed by the drug war. The village is called Nuevo Mundo, and though no one is able to put it in the, on a map, it is said that its inhabitants have gr built grand structures out of the wrecks of planes that have crashed in the Andes. If you overlook the mountains at night, you might see the light beams of those that are trying to blind the pilots so as it to crash their planes. So this is where I am right now guys. And uh, also this is like a movie reference of something or something like that, like a based on your true story. But I haven't seen anything about light beams or anything over the mountains area. So hopefully, I don't know if it's going to be around or not. I haven't got a chance to look. I even checked um, in the helicopter or anything uh, like using the binoculars, but I haven't seen anything. If you guys see glares, those are the stars. Hmm. But so far, like I said, I haven't seen anything like that of uh, the moonbeams over the mountains. Or not moonbeams, light beams over the mountains. <laughs> <clears throat> So if you guys come over here, right, and you can see a couple of wreckages of planes in the area in this small town. Yep, there's the wreckages. There's the parts of the planes. <laughs> Excuse me, apologies. But it did say something like talk to one of the local areas, but I don't think it's not going to work or not. But let me see if I find out something. No, that is a negative. Alright, let's get out here. Alright. There it is, guys. I think. Yeah, there's a couple of wreckages around here that you guys didn't see. But also, guys, there is something in here that you guys haven't seen. It's also been in my streams as well with this type of situation. Or, not in my streams, but in my stream that I did before. There it is. This is the cross right here, guys, where everyone died from the plane. I forgot what flight it was, but I can't remember what it was. But if you guys remember from a movie reference from Ethan Hawke, I think his name was, you guys will understand the uh, type of situation of based on the true story. And uh, you can't, I just can't really read it. Oh, hold on. Since something like 1990, 93, I think it's called. I think it was. Hold on. Let me use my binoculars. My views here. Ha. 2000, 2000 something, 90 something. And use I and like I said, this is one of these things that based on the true story. And uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen anything about you know, light beams over the mountains. But there is something in here that is still missing and I'm still trying to figure that out still. So hopefully I'll be able to spot it. If you guys want to check it out sometime or maybe look it up on the internet, please leave a comment. And uh, if I'm missing anything as well with the light beam situation, please leave a comment guys and uh, let me know if I'm missing anything else with the light beam and whatnot. Like I said, oop, wrong button. If you guys look in the King's file, like I said, and go to the legend right here and it says something about the light beam. <clears throat> Also, you can also see it at night, like I said before. So I hope you guys do enjoy this one. All right, guys, here is the next hidden thing that they hid in this game, or should I say secret thing in this game, I'll go to the Wildlands. If you guys come to this place, Koaini, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, where this desert area is, if you, got, um, if you guys want to spawn there, there are different locations of spawning, but the most secret one is to spawn right here at the rally point right here. Take your helicopter or a truck or anything that you guys can find or anything that may work for you guys and try to take that. But please be cautious. I, I suggest fine. you guys be very careful with the SAM uh, missiles. Alright, here we go. So, what I'm going to be doing is try to escape the stand watches as much as I can, and hopefully I'll be able to survive this this time, and not die. So, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is showing you showing you guys something really cool. 
Actually, let's try to go a little bit further away so that way I don't have to get shut down by the uh, sand launchers. <clears throat> and voila. Alright, so before I go down, or before I get out of my chopper, I'm sure some of you guys actually remember the movie The Matrix, right? Well, if you guys remember the movie reference of The Matrix when Morpheus was saying something like Welcome to the New Earth or some crap like that, if you guys remember. There is something right here that I do wanted to check you guys out. I check, I show you guys something about this chair. Now, if you remember when Neo was confused from the first Matrix movie of the reference, he says something like Welcome and everything like that in your mind and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty amazing. And it's somewhere close by to this military base right here, of course the airport, and of course around that place around there. Which is the a mine area and also the air base. It's between these sections right here and you guys can see it in the map. So this is another secret area I hope you guys do enjoy. Alright guys, here is the next hidden thing that you guys did even notice before. I'm sure some of you did and some of you didn't. But here is another hidden thing that you guys haven't noticed. Alright, if you guys come to El Cerebro, which is Kamenis, if you guys come over here and spawn at this location at the rally point, it moves somewhere uh, close by to south side. Yep, if you guys move to the south side, it just walk there. It's not that far. All you guys have to do is just crawl, um, is just travel there and, um, just try to be cautious and, of course, the streets, of course, just in case, like, oops. <laughs> Leave it to me to already get killed. <laughs> my bad, guys. That's kind of my fault. Ugh, fuck, took you so long. Alright. Now, if you guys come here. got to be somewhere at this location. I can't remember what it was. There it is, guys. Now, if you guys remember the Dark Souls game, this is part of the Dark Souls. I haven't played it before, but I have looked this up, and this is a save point. Like a checkpoint that um, that way you guys actually beaten something or anything that you guys needed to do but there is a sword right here with a fireplace as you guys can see uh, the Dark Souls and this is part of a really cool secret thing that they added in this game of uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands and I'm actually pretty amazed at, uh, that they actually added this in the Ghost Recon Wildlands alright guys here is another a secret thing that they added in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, if you guys come over here, spawn at this location in Inca Camina, where the same location where I showed you guys of Nuevo Mundo, no, New Evo Mundo. If you guys have spend uh, spawn at this location at the rally point and come to here, find this marker right here as much as you can, and there is something missing that I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize when I was streaming this game one time and I didn't know what it meant at first but I'm gonna check this out to see what this really is till I till then I just looked it up and I was like wait what <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you guys something really cool and really amazing at this one too you guys can either drive a bike or maybe fly a helicopter whatever works is easier for you guys I prefer maybe driving a bike just in case maybe a helicopter I would probably prefer a helicopter but I'm not 100% sure but um, if you guys go up a little bit up the highest peak highest peak I should say and uh, there it is and uh, you see what I'm trying to trying to show you guys over here all right let's park this bike a little bit and uh, yeah I don't care if it rolls all right I'm here now this something right here is pretty amazing I just realized just now guys this some um, this place right here is a ritual and uh, as you guys can see there is something right here that 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 was already added and uh, I was gonna show you guys but this this thing right here is a mother and pr a father and uh, two children and if you guys can see it hold on there we go 
Yep, there it is. A mother, a father, two children. I think it's a mother or father. And uh, this is like a stone head right here, if, if you guys can see it. And there's eight of these things. And when I looked it up, I'm like, whoa. So there is a lot of these all around Bolivia in Ghost Recon Wildlands. You have to search for them as much, much, much as you can. And this is a prayer ritual where people pray. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys some time of what really does and what really it what what it really does and what it's supposed to do. And uh, I'm gonna find those things as much as I can around Bolivia. And there's like I said, there's eight of them, and uh, some of them are gonna be really hard to find. So wish me luck, guys. Um, if you guys know where they are, please leave a comment in my video, and uh, I'll see what I try to do if I can try to find them. All right, everyone. Last but not least, here is another secret thing I just found out and I just realized just now guys well just now <laughs> sorry about that that I just realized just now like a couple minutes ago like an hour or so is something to do with a World War II thing based in Ghost Recon Wildlands so if you guys spawn well actually there are two different locations that you guys want to spawn you can spawn at this rally point in here in Monte Pucho Puncho, or the one in Tapacal Tepical over here at this rally point right here. You can either take a vehicle or a helicopter uh, Whatever works is easier for you guys. I tried to see if you can spawn in that location But you really can't but uh, so far that pretty sucks. But like I said you can spawn at this rally point over here or that rally point over here and You could either take a vehicle uh, like a helicopter or a regular car I'll pilot and I'm going to show you guys a really cool thing that I just learned about of that's part of a history during World War II. <clears throat> so here we go. Now if you guys come over here somewhere like north or south, or plus, possibly around like north, like northern part over here. <clears throat> climb up here as much as you guys can. And there's going to be a little small place around this in Monte Pucho. If I'm pronouncing that right, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, my apologies. <clears throat> this place is probably this place is uh, Spanish. Land is over here, and uh, I didn't. And to be honest, guys, I didn't realize this till now. I didn't realize this to be honest when I was streaming this game one time, when I was playing this, and one of my guy, and one of my soldiers, or should I say, squad, was saying something about Hitler and Germany and the Nazis and stuff. I'm like, wait, what? So, if you guys looked up, there is something in here that I just that I just realized that it was part of a Nazi thing that they worked for some kind of government or some crap like that back then in World War II. Now, if you guys come over here, this broken down place where there's holes and all that. If you come in this section right here, there is stairs location. <clears throat> now, you guys come over here and there is a hidden Nazi place right here which I'm actually surprised and this is a Nazi place and I just and I didn't even realize that the Nazis actually hid somewhere in Bolivia which is pretty amazing I'm like wait what and I wonder if there is something that they're actually hiding oh uh, no that's a picture that's something hold on what's it nope looks like there isn't really anything in here that's part of the Nazis but that is some um, pretty amazing how they actually hid something in this game and uh, as you guys can see if you push that it'll open the door but if I'm correct it won't be able to open automatically <clears throat> when you are out there because I don't think it's not gonna work Oops, sorry about that guys now if I'm correct it was somewhere around this section let me show you guys what I mean no it's gonna be around this section. Apologies, guys. Yep, there it is. There's the secret hidden door right here, guys. <clears throat> right here at the at the biggest building. Now, that is pretty cool that they actually actually added this in this game, which I'm actually surprised and I didn't even know about till now. I may have to look up some more information on the internet to see what they really did in Bolivia for the Nazis to see what they really did, and uh, let's see what they worked on. And there it is. Voila. Open the secret door. Now, if you guys have 
if you have anything to say or anything please leave a like and comment and all that um if i am missing any more secret hiddens or any easter eggs in this game please leave a comment as well in my video and i hope you guys did enjoy this video of all the secrets or not all the secrets but some of the secrets i showed you guys in this game of ghost recall wildlands like i said before i will be showing you guys more secrets and easter eggs in this game but if you guys do enjoy or should i say if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit the like and if you guys are new don't forget to subscribe comment and don't forget to share my video to any of your friends in your family on any social media platforms and i hope i hope to see you guys in the next stream or video till next time i'll see you guys later peace everyone you guys have a great day